Alrighty, guys and gals, welcome back to the Iron Man Challenge Classic World of Warcraft Hardcore. We find ourselves here in the Hinterlands at Airy Peak. We arrived here last episode, and this episode we're going to continue with a few quests here. Hope you guys and gals are doing well today. Not doing too bad. We're collecting feathers, and we're also uh, checking cages. That's right. We are... Let's see what we're doing here. There we are. We have one more cage to check, and, uh, oh, we also have Skull Rock Cleanup. We'll go do that. My Feathers quest is actually for a different uh, area. Got the graphics, uh, the ground clutter turned all the way down, simply so that I can see the feathers a bit more easily on the ground. I'll show you the difference it makes. It goes from that to that. Pretty big difference. I've mentioned this before, but if you're, you know, if you're just out herbing or looking for something on the ground, highly recommend turning your ground clutter down. You'll see herbs from a long, long way off. We have another night elf hunter here. Hello. Oh, I was talking about this mob last time. Old Cliff Jumper. It's a rare. It's not an elite mob, just a rare. Means it drops better than average treasure. Might be kind of cool to tame that if you're into wolves and whatnot. Got pretty lucky. She would have got to it before us. Looks like it's just a slightly darker color of the bear. Strength and stamina, it's plate. Not too bad. We'll take that. Looking for feathers and not seeing a bunch. In fact, hardly any. Let's make up some bandages. We picked up some mage weave cloth from uh, these trolls. This is as high as you go in classic. Pretty sure the heavy mage weave. Just had like a very strange experience. Well, I don't know if it was strange, but I've got some things I'm selling on Facebook uh, Marketplace. I use that sometimes. Sometimes I'll use Craigslist. The problem with Craigslist is I get people from like Las Cruces, which is kind of the closest big, I'll say city to where I live. I live in Silver City. With Facebook Marketplace, it's uh, I think it's a little more specific. Like, I'll just get local people contact me. Anyway, I've got a 1660 graphics card and a 3060 graphics card. They're my old graphics cards. I've upgraded slowly. I'm going to be selling those. I have 32 gigs of RAM. I'm going to be selling that. And I also have a very nice Yamaha keyboard. I'm going to be selling that as well. So I listed them on Facebook Marketplace. And I got a hit. Somebody contacted me almost immediately about the, the piano. She's like, uh, hi, is this still for sale? I was like, it sure is. And so the next thing she said is, can I call you? Which I don't really want that. So I kind of hesitated. Then I was like, well, I get it. I was like, sure. Sure. You can call me, thinking that she might call through Facebook. Now, I don't know if you have to be friends to use that or, or what. So she's like, number, question mark, question mark, question mark. So I didn't like how she, she wrote that, first of all. So I was like, okay, I put my number in there. The next thing she says is, okay, I've got your postal. Can I send you a special code to prove you're real or something like that? A special number code. I'm just like, what? What is this? I've never what you know, I've never had to do this before. And she goes, Well, there's a lot of fake sellers and fake profiles. 
here on Facebook. I was like, yeah. I was like, can I have your number? I'll just give you a call. She didn't like that. She's like, I don't feel comfortable doing that. I was like, okay, well, I don't feel comfortable giving, although I've already given my number. Like, you see how it's a similar situation? And we're going back and forth like this, right? And then finally she goes, can I send you the code? And her, the, the grammar is starting to be a little more messed up, just subtly. Can I send you code or not with like 12 fucking question marks? I'm just like, you know what? No, <laughs> not interested. I'll sell it to somebody else <laughs> and just blocked her on Facebook. Like, I, I, I'm not down for being. Uh, there's no need, reason to be rude, right? Anyway, I don't know. I just fucking weird to me. I've never had to do that before, though. I've sold things on Facebook Marketplace before. Well done. But I've never had to do that, like prove. If she had been nicer about it, I honestly probably would have done it. Whatever that, whatever the code is. I don't know. It was getting more and more weird, man. I feel like she was just going to, or whoever it was, was just going to try to get more and more information from me. Like I wasn't going to do it. Probably. I don't know. Brand new keyboard. Uh, if any of you guys and gals are interested in any of those things I just mentioned, let me know. Uh, if I still have them, I'll give you a discount on them if you're interested in them. I've got a G NVIDIA G4 1660 graphics card. I'm willing to sell it for, uh, well, I have it listed for 100 bucks. Probably let it go for 75 I have a NVIDIA GeForce 3060 graphics card. The 1660, I think, has 6 gigs of RAM. The 3060, I think, has 8. Might be 12. I think I have that listed for $200. I saw those things for $400. It's, it's actually still under warranty. It's still new. I think there's like two years left on the warranty. And I've got some, uh, oh, we have a, a gnome in here. I've got some uh, DDR4 uh, RAM, two 16 gig sticks, 32 gigs. I can get more details on it if you want. Can't remember what I have that listed for. It's a lot cheaper than you could buy it. I don't know how we would work it out, but obviously I would ship it to you. I don't know. I've given stuff away in, in the in the past, and that's usually what I do with my stuff, honestly. But I'm in kind of a situation <laughs> where I need a little extra income, so I'm just seeing if I can sell these things. I was actually just going to keep the computer stuff um, and buy a cheap, a really cheap $25, $50 case off Amazon or eBay. And I've got basically everything to build a second computer from my old parts, except for the case and the motherboard. But I could get a cheap motherboard. And I was going to use it to to render my videos and upload from that computer and then just do recording here, but it's not that big of a deal. I can upload and play. I can even render a video and record, but it, there can be problems sometimes doing that. The rendering process on videos can be pretty intensive on the CPU and the GPU, especially. I gotta be a little bit careful in here. These things are our level and higher, and we also have somebody else in this area. 
that's why these things are kind of popping up back around here. Like, this isn't anything to take lightly. I cannot have two of these on me. It's coming all the way over here, though. Okay, there we go. I'm pretty much out of mana. Let's mark that thing up there. And let's drink up here. Oh no, I still may do that because it... I tend, if I'm rendering a video, and I'm, I render quite a bit during the day, at least three videos a day I render, and they can take an hour or two hours to render, and so I basically can't really do much else. I mean, I've got a pretty decent computer, but <clears throat> even if I'm just watching a video on YouTube, unless it's full screen, the video is choppy, it's a little bit strange. It's like laggy and stuff. <laughs> might be worth it just to hang on to some of it and just like that's all that would be used for it's just it would dedicate be dedicated to rendering video and maybe storing files or whatever Twenty five hundred health. These things have. Look at that. It's a very long patrol that mob has. He went all the way around there. that warlock finished up. board earlier and um, almost just out of the blue started a new let's play I, I, I can't do it I have too much going on but I almost did I was going to do uh, a Sims uh, Sims 4 it's going to start one and maybe put it out once a week or something but I can't do it. I have too much going on. I need to... Like the new Fright Night. It's just starting to happen. should be by the time this video comes out. We're probably playing Sons of the Forest. Last I checked, it was winning the poll. Now, this... This is probably three or four days ago when this comes out, so it might not even... make much sense now. careful here. We could get... Our feigned death could be resisted by by these mobs being higher level. It's definitely a thing. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da -da. Didn't go to the gym today. I started to ride my bike up there. 
it's too late now. It's almost 3 p.m. People start getting off work and go up there early, and I just can't handle a lot of people these days. Takes quite a beating, man. These things put out some damage. Pet's level 45, but he's going to be leveling up any moment now. Yeah, he's super close. Let's see how much he gets for this. Oh, he's got a ways. He's got about 2k. Some of the uses in the game will replicate. They, I've seen them do that in Angoro Crater. Once they get low, they will split. It's, it's kind of cool. I think it's they took that from Dungeons and Dragons, uh, D and D, old school, D and D. I could be wrong, but I think that's a thing. kind of waiting for. We need five more sludges and six more oozes. The oozes are the larger ones. Now there's a cave over here. It actually goes under us, but I don't know if I'm going to be going in there. I mean, not at this level anyway. I don't think we need to go in there. But the cage we're going to check is going to be... Oh, it's actually right there. I thought it was over here. So it's... We'll get that on the way back. Did I say cave or cage? Got a new... Well, it's not a new keyboard. It's, it's, it's actually my old keyboard. But I got rid of the one I was using... It's in the closet now. I just swapped it out. But it it's a nice keyboard, man. But it yeah. I've talked about it before. It's got these G1 through G5 keys on the side, on the left side. And the G1 key is where the escape key, where I'm just so used to it being for years and years and years. And every once in a while, I'll go to hit the escape key, you know, without looking. I'll hit the G1 key. Which I don't have anything bound to it or whatever, but it's just, it's got this kind of a weird layout. And it, it just kind of messed me up. I got tired of using it. But this one is slightly different, so now I'm having to get used to this keyboard. It's a little bit more compact than the other one, which I don't really like. I mean, it's a full-size keyboard, but it's just got a slightly different contour shape to it. We got an ooze covered bag there. We're going to see what's in that. I think it's just money. Ooh, a superior health pot, which we can't use, but pretty nice. I guess that warlock moved on. Kind of glad. Makes it less dangerous around here. Of course, she could be in the cave, too. Oh. Just popped up behind me there. One more kill. Should be one more kill, maybe two. I 
I think these feathers go to Rutheran Village, Teldrassil, right outside. Not the best time to use rapid fire. Actually, I guess it worked okay. There it is. Level 46 for the healed pet. You got 24 points. So what we're going to do at level 48, he gets, we can learn new abilities for him. Stamina, maybe the growl and the armor. We will, uh, but we have to wait till he's level 48, obviously, to teach it to him, but uh, we'll, we'll get it for him. And uh, one of my awesome viewers really helped me out up with the training points. When you get to the point where you don't have enough points to get a higher rank of something, just unlearn all of your pet talent points and then just retrain the highest rank. I'm going to be doing that indefinitely now, just every time. It's just a great, a great uh, move. A great move. It's a great way to do it. I never thought about doing it before, but it works perfectly. All right, we just need the oozes, right? Yeah, six more oozes. Yeah, anyway, so the Sims, I don't know. I was just kind of sitting here bored earlier waiting on something to render and... I got a notification that one of the things in my Steam library had gone on my wish list, had gone on sale, but not on sale enough for me. <laughs> it needs to be five bucks. It's like a $60 game and it was 30 something bucks. It's, it's too much for me. I, I, I literally can't afford anything like that right now. Anyway, I was just looking around in Steam and I was looking at, like, I have a bunch of games. They're just not installed. I bought them in the past. But I have The Sims 4. We actually played that a little bit during a live stream. Just as something to do. But I've got some interesting ideas about a Let's Play for The Sims. I've not played it in so, so long. But I was thinking about doing a Let's Play, like, kind of based on my real-life personality. Like, my problems, my social problems... Uh, right now I'm unemployed, but if I was working, I would be working in the IT field, either doing some kind of support, but most likely programming, coding, bug fixing. I was thinking about that, you know, just like a single dude. Might be kind of fun. Let me know your thoughts on that, if, any, if we have any Sims fans out there. It'd be something different, but again, I'd have to kind of figure out how to work it into the into the schedule here. Got a shield there. Here's the Distress Beacon uh, Escort Quest, which we're not doing. No thanks. Let's pull this mob out a little bit. These aren't what we need, but I need to work my way in here a little bit more. No, we pulled those. Looks like he's managing, okay between uh, growling and biting with his focus. Man, I used to be so into The Sims, like the first games and stuff. I would spend so much time. I used to play on this little Dell laptop a D610. It was actually a work laptop. 
and they had these things where they would uh, we would get new models of laptops in and depending on how old they were i can't remember but sometimes they would get them from dell and then they would sell them or something i don't know it's like these auctions for the employees or something i can't remember how it worked but I had this d610 just a shit little laptop <laughs> But uh, I would play on that. But I would spend hours and hours just designing, like, my house. I would use the cheat code to get this, what are they called, Samoans or something? Samoans, the money. And I would just design and design and design. Hours and hours. Like, not even play the game. Just <laughs> designing houses and the landscape and the pool and all that. And then I would get bored and delete it do something else. I was also maybe trying to think about a way to play it as like a serial killer in the game. I just don't know how that works. Because I, I don't know if there's an element in the game where you could be arrested or if, if police look for you. I just pulled here. I don't think that's a thing, but it would be cool if that was a thing. And you try to evade the law. I don't know, if you know any, if like there's a DLC or something like that, I'd be interested for sure. That might be fun to do. Little Jack the Ripper, present day. Not maybe not that gruesome, or you know. I have my own, my own theory about what happened to that guy. Well, one of two things happened to him. He he either died early. Well, I mean, we don't know how old he was, but he either died or he killed himself. Same thing, right? But he either died from something or he, he killed himself is what I'm thinking. Because serial killers, especially of that level, don't stop killing. And what's also weird about Jack the Ripper, well, I mean, it's... You only ever hear about his most gruesome stuff. It's unknown how he started, but usually serial killers don't start. They amp up and they build up, you know? It could be something like torturing animals when there's little. Then there's some assault charges, abduction. Then they kill the first person and it could be sloppy. And then they get into these patterns in these rituals that they do. They can stop killing for years at a time, but they never completely stop at that level once they get there. Sometimes they'll move to a different area. But I think the guy uh, killed himself. I don't know. What do I know? I'll tell you what I know. Nothing. That's what I know, obviously. Pulled here. There can also be a rare in here. I, the name Sludgeon or Sludgeon just popped into my head. I don't know if that's it, but I've seen it. It could also be in the cave underneath of us. Like over there, there's a cave or up here or something. Oh, there's another uh, bag. Oh, some purple lotus. Interesting. That's a pretty cool looking shield. I've said this before, but there's so much more they could do with this game as far as your professions and stuff. Like if you were, say, blacksmith or engineer or something, they could have things like this in the game where they're essentially garbage. Like it's marked as garbage. 
But if you collect enough of certain pieces of trash, maybe you could make a common, right? You could make a white item from your skill with just different random things that might fit, like you could get the hilt of a sword or, you know, whatever, and you could make different things with it. I don't want to pull both of these here. Is that a single pull? It is. Let's get them out here, though. Oh, this can, these mobs are going to be popping up back out here. Some of them already already are. It's more of the sludges than the oozes. The oozes are the bigger ones. But we're getting real decent XP here. Oh, he got five points there. So I've noticed that happens to him. He doesn't get his training points as soon as he levels. But if you check back, he'll usually have five additional points. Or whatever it is that he's getting. But he doesn't get them right away. That's been my experience with it. I'm going to feed him here. Because he's the goodest of boys. He's the goodest of boys. The goodest of girls. I don't know. I've never checked. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I have a feeling that person who contacted me was fishing for something. Fishing for some information or something. I feel like it just would have went on and on. I've sold stuff on Facebook Marketplace before, and it's usually, Hey, is this still for sale? Yes, it is. Okay, where can I come get it? I'll come by and get it. Like, that's usually how it goes. Somebody wants something. I, I get being safe, but that whole thing was just so weird to me. Man, are you kidding me with how much of the things there are out here that we don't need? <laughs> it's like all sludges. But I was a little bit excited because two hundred dollars is two hundred dollars to me. It's a big, <laughs> it's a big deal. I'll tell you this: it's to the point right now where I have on top of my refrigerator. Well, I have two, like, cups. Um, they're actually my they're old pre-workout jars, the little plastic things. One of them is, is everything. but So one of them is just quarters, and the other one is all the other change, right? Uh, pennies, nickels, dimes that I keep in there. The reason I separate them is because uh, I don't have laundry here in my place. I have to take it to a laundromat. So, but anyway... One of that, it's about half full of change. I'm thinking about taking that up to one of the, you know, you take it in the supermarket and you dump the change in and they give you the money. That's uh, the situation I'm in right now. <laughs> Not been able to find a job. But I've also... I've been having a lot of trouble with following through and interviews as far as doing them. I'm having quite a bit of trouble. Damn, man, this is a little bit ridiculous. There's just all sludges here. Oh, no. I've got to go. These things do too much damage, so we're gonna we're gonna do our hunter trick here. What you do is just keep your pet in combat so he doesn't chase you out. Just run out of range, he'll despawn. Just like that. And we're out of combat. I just can't really handle 
two of them. They do too much damage to the pet, and I didn't have the most mana right there anyway. We'll come back in around this side to see if I can pick off the, the oozes. Doing, brother? I'm torn Drew. There, are you doing this quest? He's not good. Oh, he's a. Well, he's at least 10 levels above me. Probably doing uh, the rounds for either mining or herbing. And or both. this Alkin at. I don't want this thing on me either. They enrage, I think. One of them. One, one of them uh, does. I gotta bring him back over here. It's close enough, bud. one way over here. This is ridiculous. Oh, you bastard. You bastard, you. I'm going to be making a conscious effort to uh, less F-bombs and cussing in general. I'm going to try not to do it as much. I'm not saying I'm never going to do it, but Gotta clean my act up a little bit. A scroll of protection there. And a vibrant plume. No, we just. Well, I don't know what happened there. Got some stuff to potentially sell. Picked up these blue BOE shoulders, skeletal shoulders, 199 armor. 150 health and 6 strength. Not too bad. What do they look like? Ooh, kind of cool. Got like the the uh, little horn or whatever on one side there. We can't wear that, but somebody can. Watch watched Travisine earlier today. He was in Zul Farak. He's trying to get the sword. And... There's a one-handed axe for tanks that drops in there. I can't remember what it's called. It's best in slot. It's a good weapon. You basically have a chance to double hit with it, I think, something. But it's best in slot. And a gnome rogue needed on it. Like, he can't even use it. He can't even equip it. But he needed it because it's... It's, like, it's worth like a thousand gold or something. Like, I get it. I just thought it was complete shit. But that's kind of the problem with a pug group. That's why it's kind of better to run with a guild. Or at least, you know, what you'll often see with pugs is somebody will make the group and they might say, like, something's reserved. Or they'll establish clear rules. Like, hey, I'm running because... I'm trying to get my best in slot tanking weapon, right? Doesn't mean that somebody still won't roll on it, but I yeah, he handled it way better than I would have. I would not have been gracious about it. He's a pretty chill guy.
I don't know. I feel like the only people who would argue against that are people who do stuff like that, like need something they don't need just to sell it. Like, I get it's worth a lot, but, you know, we're talking about a best in slot thing. And so the same people might say, well, he didn't say anything. He didn't, you know, I don't know. I've never really done that. Like, if I'm if I'm going to roll neat on something, it it it's going to be something that I can actually use, like something I actually need. Otherwise, just greed it, right? But, I don't know. I, I thought it was a pretty shitty play, man. I mean, that's not what he was going for, and technically, I don't think he's in a tank spec. But... I don't know. You know, you get something like that, and then you're... I don't know. Maybe now you're a tank. I don't, I don't know if I would have been... I mean, if I was just as a DPS, right? Like, that's... I think that's what he is. I think he's Rat Paladin on that character. He could spec over... But I think he had joined the group. I think he was talking about that. He said he prefers to DPS, and maybe you know, maybe that, that has something to do with it. Like, he doesn't... He's technically not a tank, so he doesn't need it. That probably came into play. Not to mention it's worth so much money, too. 1,000 gold a classic is pretty good. Can we get these last two oozes? I just do not see them out here. Might have better luck in the cave, but I don't really want to go in there. Gotta watch out for this patrol. It's gonna be coming back soon. Yeah, it's just all sludges. It's a sludge party. We're down under a thousand arrows. They go so quick. They really do. Well, we're like halfway. With this bag we have, the 10 slot, we can get a maximum of 2,000 arrows, right? <coughs> there's a bigger, there's a heavy quiver, but it's a green item. Um, and we're not allowed to equip green stuff, so that's why we don't have it. But you can get it off a vendor. Let's see if I can get this mob down before the patrol comes. Should have dropped a freezing trap here. Actually, can I do this? No, because I'm still in combat. I mean, the pet's still in combat. I was going to feign take myself out of combat to lay the trap down, but it doesn't work because your pet is attached to you. I just pulled it. It's okay, it's almost dead. with here. I kind of wish that wasn't a thing. I wish when you feigned you were completely out of combat, but because my pet's still up. Probably a little bit too OP. Like, they elected, once you get into combat, you can't lay, you can't use your traps. So they probably thought about that. Like, well, what if they're just going to feign death and use it? I don't know why you can't. That's, that's always kind of bugged me. It's one of these little things, one of the few things about classic with, with certain classes and stuff I would change. 
first of all, hunters wouldn't use mana. I don't like that. They would be using energy like their pet or some other resource. Uh, and traps, you'd be able to set a trap in combat. Like, it just doesn't make any sense that you can't do it. It's going to take us the whole entire hour to get these last three or whatever it is we need because they're just not popping up for us. It's okay. It's kind of easy XP. Just the one patrol. It's pretty good. I like the noise the pet makes. I don't know if you've ever noticed when he gets out of combat. <laughs> if you listen to him, if you're close enough, he does like that, the pig, three pig snorts. He's like, rah, 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 or whatever a pig snort would be. I've never really noticed that before. <coughs> Here's one here. So listen to him when he gets out of combat. It's pretty funny. I'll run up so you can hear it. If you're into it. If you're super into boar noises. <laughs> oh, we're into it, E. I'm all about some boar noises. Borderline pig noises all day. All day. He didn't do it. So that tells me it's something else. It's not getting out of combat. It's something else that he makes that noise for, with. Okay. This is fucking stupid. Sorry, I just, I dropped the F-bomb. Oh, these are all actually oozes. This is what we need. I can pull this one. I'm going to pull this one over here. So this is, is this eight? Yeah, this is our eighth. So we have one here, and then I'll pull one of these, hopefully just one of them. You know what other game I have that I've never even played, but it's it's been in my Steam. I bought it like three years ago. Is Lord of the Rings Legos the game? Like one of them? I can't remember which. That's the same pants we're wearing. The reason I didn't play it, I mean, I tried to play it, but I had a, a terrible computer at the time, and it just wasn't, it wasn't playing very well. So I just kind of, like, backed out of it. But that might be fun to do at some point, too. The reason I bought it is because I read the review on it, and it said it was hilarious. Like... <laughs> The voice acting and the fact that it's Legos people with Lord of the Rings I said it was hilarious and it was an idea. I actually bought it before I started the channel, but it was around that time when I was getting everything set up and trying to figure out what I was going to do as a YouTuber. All right, this is our last one. I didn't mean to do that. We might pull this one over here. I hope not. I meant to pull him back this way. What we'll do, though, is just pull him a little bit closer. Oh, we need one more. Nice counting. That's 
that's not good. I got parried there. Yeah, I rushed this one a little bit here. Not the best. And I turned Bite off because he was out of balance with his Growl there. That's why he couldn't taunt. It's fine on green mobs or yellow mobs that he's a level or two higher than, but these mobs that are our level or higher, I, it's easy for him to kind of lose threat. Especially if he hits the well bite done. before he hits the growl or something. All right, we have one more cage to unlock. Let's get fully manned up before we run out of here so we don't get in trouble. We'll go unlock this cage. Well, we'll check the cage, and then we'll report back. We should get some follow-ups. Yeah, kind of thought we'd pull you, but I'm out of here. Later, fool. I also have Lord of the Rings online, I think. One of the versions of that game. I played that a little bit, not very much, a couple years ago. Never on the channel. Don't think I've ever played it on the channel. But that's been recommended to me as well to try. are much more our speed, so I'm going to turn Bite back on here. When I mean our speed, I just mean Welder Green. Three levels above them, and they have a thousand more health than we do. that scaling thing I was talking about. So this could be a little bit tricky. This is the cage, I think. But we got stuff hiding like right here. It's easy to pull. We got this guy. I thought that was a rare. It said Venom Blood. I think we can actually handle two of these if I pull. here? Now I am. Now I am. It's four mobs on us. I should have known that was going to happen. They're like right behind the walls there. It's okay. That's what we do that for. He's got all kinds of stuff on him. So I... If I feed him with this dot, he, it will interrupt him, so I just have to wait till that goes away. I can manually heal him, though. Okay, let's get reset here. What we're going to do is get this guy out of the way, and I'll come up this side so I can actually see what's behind the wall. Poison like a true rogue. Coming up on an hour, we can just get this done.
This is the one. Cool outfit she has. It's like a spider, if you look at it. Oh, shit. What the fuck happened there? That was such a late delay. Get her down before I run off. That was weird. I wonder if that's like a patrol running around there. The pet died. Which means they do run after me. But I'll be out of combat. There they go. Okay. Where the hell were they at? I guess I just pulled them by proximity. I didn't, really didn't think that would happen because they're green mobs, but they must be just like right here. We can turn these necklaces in um, for rep. With the Wild Hammer Clan, I believe, if, if you're, you know you're into that. I don't know what kind of rewards you get or whatever. Might be something good. I'm gonna feed him twice because he's he's not getting happy very quickly here. I should do it. Well, we got this one down. So there's just one here and one here. Let's remove her from the picture. Just be safe here. Maybe I'd come up this way instead. Pretty decent job. Can I get up that? Yes, we can. The, mo the mobs would probably bug out here. Let's see what happens here. If I was to pull her, she would bug out on me. Because she couldn't get to me, so she would reset. So I need to make sure I don't pull. And we'll work from here, maybe. there. It's fucking hard to see in here, man. We got this guy. Here's... Which way is he going to run around? There's two here I'm going to have to deal with. That works. Yeah, that'll work. We just got him. I wasn't sure how he was going to come out. Like, which way. Sometimes they'll take a strange... Well, they'll take a path that is the least resistance, but they can't go through the same places you can go through. Sometimes.
Well done. Thanks. Let's get the heck out of here. Making me a little bit nervous in here. Some mob in that cave over there with a spider. I think it's two named mobs. We may get a quest for that. The paladin? Yep. Looks like he's prot. He's got the shield there. The uh, shield on the one-hander. Kind of tab targeting for that rare again. He could be back up. Get her back. I don't think we have enough to turn in, do we? No, we only have three. Let's make a quick sell, and then we'll go up to uh, the peak up there. Talk to me. Look how much faster that bow is. It's a full second faster. We do more damage. Yeah. And we have the potential to do more damage with this crossbow. But it's not it's pretty close though. It's not too far off. The only thing about that, this is a level forty bow. We have a level uh twenty nine. Doesn't really matter, but what if I keep that? I don't think so. I don't think so. I wonder what that mojo is used for. It says it sells. You just sell the bandages there. See if any of that will sell on the auction house. I'll actually, just give that to him. And uh, we may as well get some more drinks. We're getting kind of low here. Let's buy extra stack. We go through them pretty quickly. Cured ham steak. We could switch over to cheese. Oh, he has it. We could get this stuff. Actually, I think I'm going to because... The pet's health now, he's over 2,000 health. These only restore 1,400, so we're going to move up to the quail for him. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to buy an extra stack as well. One, two, three, four. So we're going to move this here, and then I have to change my macro oh, really, really quick. My feed pet. This is going to switch over to this stuff. There we are. There you are, my friend. Let's go turn this in. 
Might hit level 47 next episode. We should. I've been thinking about if I hit level 60 on this character to try to get into some level 60 dungeon just as a send-off with this gear that I have. <laughs> What's on your mind? Safe travels. Well, wait a minute. I don't think I can do that quest. I know what this is. Yeah. That quest is pretty tricky to do. There's just uh, a lot of ads up there, and I just don't feel comfortable doing it. It's something we might pick up if it turns, like, if that quest is green, we can pick it up. I might do it, but it's the top of the altar up here, I think, something like that. I think it's related to Carrot on a Stick. I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking that, but I feel like it. some part of that quest is in this area or something. Anyway, let's hang out beside this uh, freak right here. Thanks for hanging out with me for a little bit. I uh, certainly appreciate it. You guys and gals take care. Iron Woman and myself will catch you in tomorrow's episode. Bye. Peace. Mm -hmm.